Okay. All right. I'm back. Will Spencer is my guest in the second half. Now we're talking. When you're talking in these lectures, you 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 say the answers that you have. You say these are simple. Now, what what? Uh, obviously, we uh, from our conversation here, you're not recommending anybody take any any type of pills. And dead doctors don't lie. You know the the guy that produced that. He used to tell us if if you just have the proper nutrients. You'll be fine. You 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 can survive anything. You know that's uh, that's uh, that's how you combat it. your body combats illness. And uh, well, that that's partially correct. But the issue is uh, one step further. The, the the nutrients, the food that we eat, don't just get absorbed through the intestinal wall into our blood. There's some steps that are missing. And living in this chemicals and genetically modified environment that we are in, and these other biological has a bearing on our on that on those steps they uh, for instance uh, growing up in farm country in northern Minnesota we had a lot of pesticides on our farm anyhow and now around the Gulf uh, there's pesticide or you know chemicals and, and these chemicals shut off our end our, our, our uh, some of the enzyme production so our stomach is compromised they are a lot of them disrupt our endocrine system which is very important uh, that uh, affects our our glandular system. That's including insulin. That's including um, the pineal gland and all our glands, the adrenal glands, the thyroid. Uh, the chemicals distort and get locked in our bodies, causing neurological problems in our nervous system. Um, and these chemicals distort our digestion completely through our system, and they they kill off the microorganisms that really we eat the food it gets, goes into our stomach and it gets processed there and then it goes into our small intestine and then it gets reconsumed again by these microorganisms and then as we need them it gets released into the body there's a synthesis that happens and without these microorganisms and without the stomach doing its job properly we don't get proper absorption so there's a several steps that uh, science or you know, the popular medical model and nutritional model is missing and it's really simple as in the, as you're looking in the soil it's the same process in the soil <clears throat> the microorganisms in the soil have been compromised because we've got the chemicals the pesticides and now the chemtrails hmm, excuse me the chemtrails are altering the pH and altering the biological life in the soil which we it, it, it's data now it's concrete we know this so in the, so in the soil, the plant gets the sun, showing, shines on it, gives it energy, photosynthesis happens, but what's happening is there's an information stream traveling down that plant into the root hairs, and the microorganisms that live amongst the root hairs, get, okay, they get an, energy, an information signal through those root hairs to the microorganisms. I mean, this is oversimplified, but, you know, basically, hey, I need some calcium up here, you know, you release some calcium, and so there's... And we have that same process inside of us. It's the same microorganisms that live in us as well as in the environment. And this is what this is what the current allopathic medical model doesn't want you to really know is we're more of nature than people think. We are not chemical beings. We're we are natural beings. And it's the same microorganisms. And they they keep killing the microorganisms now, off for a reason. In my opinion, in, in, in one of the product lines that I've uh, put out, it's made for uh, for me by a biochemist out of Albuquerque, and uh, it it has fulvic acid in it. Now, she right. gets her fulvic acid from prehistoric plant deposits that they found. And, and she says that the soil has been so depleted that the fulvic acid isn't there anymore, and this heals cellular damage. Yeah. And, and so I agree with that. The, uh, the, uh, there is one plant, I believe, that produces fulvic acid naturally because it has such a deep root system, but you can't grow it in America. It's called hemp. <laughs> right. And, and it cures cancer. Hemp, uh, THC, if you cook it down, make hash oil out of it, it will cure cancer. See Phoenix Tears. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah, there, yeah, there's a lot of things that, that, that are really good in nature that, that are not allowed in this country. And there's reasons for it. You know, and that's why the, uh, they want everything patented to control everything. I mean, it, it really comes down to greed more than anything in my book, but their stupidity is greed based, but it's not biologically healthy for us. Most of it. I mean, the whole, uh, military, industrial, medical complex as a whole, is very unhealthy for human beings. <laughs> it's not natural. It's totally against nature. Well, if you, you know, live to, if you live to be a hundred, you're going to break Social Security that they've ripped off. You know, you're going and, and um, you know, if you live to a hundred, you're obviously not spending any money on their medications. Right, and it seems to me uh, that shortly after retirement, and whatever age that is, and that's kind of determined by your doctor that. You don't live very long nowadays. Just by t traveling the country and just observing the uh, older generation, shortly after uh, you know retirement, people are dying. And it's not like it used to be where on my on the, my family farm you had grandma and grandpa, and you had three generations on the farm living there. It's not that way anymore. That's the way it should be. That's the whole plan behind Liberty Villages. I I, I designed Liberty Village to be someplace I would want to retire to. Watch the, watch my grandkids run around. Watch uh, talk to the young people, educate them. I've learned a lot over the last sixty five years. You know, I want to be able to pass that on to somebody. My grandfather taught me to read. I could read before I ever went to school. Right. So can I? And that's the way. I mean, Grant. I believe that's what we should have. But the the only bad part about that is the industrialized system that we live in won't work very well if we have that kind of mentality no play. <laughs> so the whole system has to go away really or at least we can go into our little communities if you will like well, in, like it, the, Liberty Village. I, the Liberty Village would work in every neighborhood if you're growing your own food in your backyard trading with your neighbor over the back fence and you've got a, a wind generator or a solar uh, panel up on your roof, what do you need the banksters for? What do you need the government for? What do you need anything for? You can live just like that. And and that could be a block in, in, in downtown, you know, Detroit. That could be a block in Detroit that you've restored, and suddenly your home's paying you instead of you paying to live in your home. Right. In Philadelphia, they've got some neighborhoods like that where they're, they've got, they're actually raising fish inside of greenhouses inside Philadelphia. There's neighborhoods like that that are springing up. The ideas are, I mean, the people, it's, it's mandatory almost now. We have to get back to that, in my opinion. Anyway. I, think, I think that's the only answer. I've been covering this for 20 years, 25 years. I've been talking about the drug smuggling done by the United States. I've, I've been talking about everything that's happening here. And, and, you know, it's still, it, it's, it's all part of the plan. It's all designed to move you to lower the population to manageable. They don't want you living productive lives. They want you working a, a slave life and paying them. They're, they're nothing but parasites, these banksters. We're the, we've been putting the wrong people in, we've been putting, in my opinion, we've been putting the wrong people in prison. We ought to be putting the banksters, we ought to put, be putting the insurance companies, we ought to, we ought to be investigating, uh, you know, how Larry uh, Silverstein made, you know, billions of dollars off of uh, 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 an exaggerated case of Jewish lightning, you know? And, right. and, and not arresting it. What do you got in your pocket, son? Is that, is that, is that milk sugar or is that heroin? We gotta, you, we're gonna have to take you in. We're gonna have to investigate. You know? The, the, the whole war on drugs is a war on the, on, on the American people. We've got more people in prison now for victimless crimes, probably a lot of them. We've got more people in prison than any other country in the world per population. Uh, I agree with that. I just found out in uh, in uh, the county that we live in that there's 80 percent plus of the inmates, and they don't have a jail there. They, it's only the prison uh, that are in there for domestic issues, such as not paying child support. So they put them in prison. They can't work, and they still have to pay child support. So. The, the, those kinds of crimes are apt, they're insane. They're actually building a new prison just for child support people with that don't pay their child support or can't pay their child support because they don't have a job. They lost their job, and it, it's amazing. 
There's, it's there's, and, and the the federal the federal penitentiary systems. They are building weapons for wars for for defense contractors. Oh, they're using them as the workforce then. Slave labor, twenty five cents an hour. Sure. And and they're working for Raytheon. They're working for General Dynamics. I'm just starting <laughs> to investigate that. You know, it's uh, it, like Ann Rand told us. If you if you you know, the government has no control over honest citizens, so they have to make criminals out of us. Right. Well, they're doing a good job. <clears throat> there's there's some uh, there's some laws out there that, uh, for instance, the 1974 Drug Act. That there there's uh, I have to share that with you uh, when I get down that way later this year, Clay. But there's uh, uh, quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of help in Pennsylvania how uh, that's happening because we found some loopholes and actually there's some remedy for that but it requires a little bit of education so there's a couple friends of mine uh, we're, we're actually help holding seminars or going to be starting to hold more seminars to help educate people that uh, trouble uh, there, there's remedy but it requires a little bit of education Well, you know, that's, to me, that's what the Liberty Villages should be doing, uh, passing information back and forth to each other. We've got schools that are done over computer, Little Red Schoolhouse and Timothy Bible College. You can, you can get your master's degree sitting at home, sitting in a teepee, sitting in a yurt, sitting in a, in a, in a cabin. And you can educate your children. You don't have to put them in these public schools. You don't have to. You don't have to do any of that. And if you if you're eating right, and you're growing your own food, I mean, just the you, the aquaponics that you that you mentioned, you simply put tubing around your thing. You grow seaweed. You grow fish, and and use that to water your uh, your garden. You've got a a yeah. closed system, and you can protect it from the chemtrails. With plastic. Yep, you can put it inside of a greenhouse. That's what they're doing in Philadelphia, and it's just a, it's a controlled environment. And the food with the brick meter is a lot more, a lot more healthy. It's got higher brick rate. You know, to I, I would really like your help with. This. Now, I've been talking about this for a long time, but uh, it's. It, I, I I'm not. It's there's not there's nothing for sale in Liberty Village, other than the teepees, the yurts, the inexpensive housing. You can buy a teepee for three thousand, or you can pay a hundred thousand dollar for that two thousand square foot home. You know, you can pay for that three times, buy it for a hundred thousand, pay three hundred thousand to the banksters for it. And right. and and you know I, I you I, you've got as much living room in a in a teepee worked pretty good for the Indians for ten thousand years didn't it? Well, I have those these tubes that are uh, you can just you, you dig the hole where you're going to put your basement and you put the dirt inside these tubes and you make basically make a dome uh, out of these earthen tubes and you plaster the inside and you uh, you uh, plaster the outside and they're earthquake and wind resistant to some extent and they're they're inexpensive there's all different kinds of ways to build a house they've got they've they, they've got a, a a new material that you just put a fan in it blow it up it blows up into a, a into a, a bubble and you spray it down with water and it turns into concrete oh i saw that i thought that was the neatest thing if, if those are cost effective uh, that's a really good way and the earth bear house I just had a woman uh, and and uh, I just had a woman on who she and her husband built these earth bag home this home they're building it for under under five thousand dollars. That but, that that structure that blows up like that is under five thousand dollars. I don't know what the price is on that, uh, but the earth bag homes they were going to build their home for uh, earth, under okay. under five thousand and they and they were right on target. Wow. Well, that, that's what we need in this economy, then, isn't it? <laughs> the and community it, of those kind of houses. That's right. That's right. Well, you know, but the the richest uh, the richest and the poorest uh, pe people live in adobe homes. You know, 
Right. Well, we were trying to make Adobe. We did a little bit when we were down in uh, Bingham there. It was not that difficult. It just requires a lot of manual labor, but it's not that hard. You know, as far as, uh, and I, any time a communist regime takes over there, they always go after the farmers. In the Liberty Village concept, you would have veterans. There's a lot of homeless veterans out there. They, they need to be in a healthy environment. And uh, by arranging a shelter and food for them, then you would have, uh, you would have protection. Right. And these, uh, the, the, the whole Liberty Village concept, we could do this in a, in a square block, in a city block. If, if all it takes is people working together, and that's the hardest thing to accomplish. Getting people to work together rather than, than argue and fight all the time. Oh, and that's, I know. That's yeah, almost I, beyond I, me. I, that's I, almost beyond me. I don't know how. I don't either because it's the same. I'm down here in New Orleans and unbelievable everybody's fighting and I think I personally I, I I feel some frequency issues and I think it's intentional to keep everybody at odds with each other you, to keep everybody agitated you can keep everybody in control that way especially with the police force they have nowadays with everybody living in fear of them and their heavy handedness that they're slamming people around um, and I, I think I just I think it, it sure is looking like it's all manufactured be this way. It is. They're stirring up. They, they're they're allowing the illegals to come into this country, and and the illegals because they're illegal and don't have any real choice about it, they turn to crime. That creates a reason for more police and more protection and more. And and they're doing the same. They they are demonizing the patriots and the veterans and the oath keepers. Right, right. now, right now, the same way they demonized me for starting. A <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> well, you know what? We for, we formed the militias in the governor's office. Gary Johnson was there, and my I, I think maybe you were there when I got a picture of of uh, me with the governor in uh, in the store there in Bingham. I, I think I was. I'm not positive. I was wearing my poli politicians love on armed peasants T-shirt. Buy a gun, piss off a liberal. <laughs> well, they're sure they're sure getting to be quite a uh, that militia type movement is getting more prevalent nowadays. Everywhere I go, I meet people, and they're just tired of that co that, that corporate government system that we live in, and they're going back to that self governing. Screw this corporation. We're going to take care of ourselves. And it's getting to be bigger and bigger, and I think that the uh, the corporation, if you will, is uh, starting to get a little bit worried. That's why they're picking up their agenda, picking up their speed on their the fear tactics, and they're picking up on everything. The chemtrails is all connected into control. All about control. I've got a two-hour yeah, film up right there, up on my website, and down below on the uh, on the uh, blog TV. Uh, uh, that, that pretty much gives a history. It tells you that everything I've been telling po people in my radio shows for the last 20 years has been right on. The things I talked about six years ago, they're talking about on uh, CNN now. Yeah. Yeah. And the, uh, what about the chemtrails? What's your reaction to the chemtrails? I mean, they're doing that right over here. We just I just took Anthony Hilder over to, to and showed him where the planes are coming from. I mean, you can zoom in on the uh, on the uh, evergreen airplanes that they, and, and I'm sure that's where since you can't get on it, you and I can't get on this base, this penal air park. I'm sure that's another CIA, MENA, Arkansas setup with the big uh, with the big white planes that are also putting the chemtrails out. That's right here in Tucson, north of Tucson. Right. Yeah. I well, I'm, I I I know about that. I heard. I watched your video, and um, I mean, they got to be landing somewhere. But we're we're doing the groups that I belong to are just monitoring or identifying these biologicals and the heavy metals, and um, just uh, we're finding all kinds of things. I mean, they've got these. There's a whole patent out of, about what's called smart dust, which. Is a, is a huge topic, but they're actually spraying us with these little particles. 
there was a there was an individual that sent some samples in from New York out of Long Island that was a blue slime mold that was that was sprayed this winter and it was multiplying under the snow on her deck in the New York winter and it was it's a synthetic or semi synthetic biological. It was a blue slime type mold that was living and multiplying in the middle of winter. So it were all these crazy stuff. And I mean it's just amazing all the different particles and elements and life forms that that are being and now we have the wonderful radiation issue like there's just, there's a huge amount of radiation coming out of the middle of this country and nobody even knows about it in Nebraska that's not quite as bad as Fukushima but just about and nobody said a word about it they got like a media blackout government ordered media blackout on that incident so we we're getting radiation now we're getting biological heavy metal I mean it's, it's an assault everywhere that's right and by the and, way uh, uh, I've got somebody in one of my chat rooms the uh, he and he does uh, I believe he does a blog talk after me Tissel Finale he said uh, what Clay and his guest are talking about is how families are in my village in Thailand you know we went into Vietnam and what did we do we bombed farmers why why because they don't want you to feed yourself. And that's what's happening in the United States, I believe, Eric. The, the uh, whole attack and, 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 and we've got the same thing happening here. We've got flooding going in the nuclear power plant up in Nebraska. There, there's flooding going on all the way to Louisiana from, from South Dakota. <laughs> there, it, it sure does look like an assault on the food chain uh, everywhere. Not only the Gulf of Mexico, because the, the food there is contaminated now, if there is any. It's it's in the Pacific Ocean. It's in the Atlantic. I just got word that they're spraying oil. There's oil still coming up all the way up the Gulf, uh, on the Atlantic side of Florida, and they're spraying uh, oil dispersants over there as well as in the Gulf. Yet that was just two days ago. Uh, it's everywhere. They're uh, assaulting us. The food chain in every end. Believe it or not, we're just the high end of the food, and we're going to be really seeing this in the next year or two. The honeybees are having a problem. That's a chemical and, and, a, and a frequency assault. That uh, could be the the elf towers, the the cell towers could be disoriented the uh, honeybees, couldn't they? Well, there's a, there's a huge body of uh, research going on, uh, information coming out of Europe right now that's saying that it's not just the pesticide issue; it is the frequency issue. So they're, they're bombarding us with EMFs continually. There's towers all over this country, and most of them aren't even cell towers. They're more microwave-type towers. And that is just as contributing factor as the pesticide issue. So the, the, the data, the, there's enough good intentioned scientists and researchers out there that are stepping outside of their the system that they belong to and, and they say, screw your tenured position. We want the truth because we need the truth. And there's people losing their job, but yet they're continuing their research and we're being publicly funded, I mean, uh, privately funded. And the data is the data. The system, uh, the corporate system, the industrial complex can't sustain much longer with the amount of truth coming out in all different levels because we're privately funded. We're not getting money from them anymore so we have to come up with their results we're getting our own results which are the truth and we're funded by ourselves I'll call you back Donna okay the uh, <sighs> this the I, I just pulled up a story somebody somebody sent me that uh, and, and, and folks what what we're talking about is real here. There is you know there there are answers here, but the danger is very real. And uh, uh, in a report prepared by Russia's atomic Federal Atomic Energy Agency, on information provided to them by the International Atomic Energy Agency, states that the Obama regime has ordered a total and complete news blackout relating to any information regarding the near catastrophic meltdown of the Fort Calhoun nuclear power plant located in Nebraska. According to this report, the Fort Calhoun nuclear plant suffered a catastrophic loss of cooling to one of its idle spent rod 
fuel rod pools on 7th of June after this plant was uh, covered with water by the historic flooding of the uh, Missouri River. So that's 20 minutes outside of downtown Omaha. Right. Right in the center of the country. And, and they don't want you to know about it? Obama doesn't want anybody to tell you about it? You're getting it on the Free American Hour right now, folks. And you're not getting it on the television, that's for sure. Well, I don't watch television, so I don't have any... Uh, I don't have I don't any. Uh, I don't have any uh, frame of reference for that. But uh, I don't the the you know I I just covered a story six months ago about this Jerry Kane shooting, and sixty minutes came on and covered the story six months later, but not in nearly as much detail as I uh, as I did. Right. I don't think that whole that system won't cover things the, the truth very well because they can't. Okay, what do we got here? Let's see. All right, we got five minutes. Let's uh, let's tell people again about the body electrician. How can they get a hold of you? What can they do? What can you give them? What's it cost? We got five minutes. Well, um, cost is uh, is uh, is. The variable, but there's a there's a plan. If you if you're sick, if you've got some issues, it doesn't matter what it is. From IBS to reticulitis, thyroid problem, uh, Lyme disease, whatever, uh, we have a we have program to help you, and uh, it's it's on an individual basis. But uh, it, it and uh, it starts with an intake, just like any other healthcare provider, uh, and uh, we we work with you individually. Uh, we do have some. Um, Chelation plans that, that we're putting together, packages, if you will, that are just general chelation for the heavy metals. They've been working great against the uh, heavy metals, the chemtrails, the biologicals. They'll be out shortly. I'll let Clay know when they're available. And uh, but uh, basically, it's uh, what we do is help people achieve vibrant health and reverse this crap, uh, these diseases and these sicknesses that that are plaguing everybody. In, this, in, the, in the industrialized world, in, in this country especially. So that, that's, our, that's, that's our goal, that's our plan, and um, it's, uh, it's relatively simple. All right, and uh, all of that is linked up on the website. I'll move that up right beside the show so people have got a direct reference. My uh, website's getting a little bit, uh, little bit packed here, so... My apologies. Yeah, our websites are getting outdated uh, over the next couple of months. Uh, we've had to change our uh, web guide, so um, bear with us. There's there, there's a lot more coming information. Like it's a bodyelectrician.com, right? Correct. Yeah, bodyelectrician.com. Uh, check out the chelation tab. They'll talk about our natural uh, our, our, our our natural ability to chelate, but we're missing some elements, so you have to put them back into the body in order to have that process work. Um, and our vibrant health program. There's there's more videos and everything going to be uploaded on there shortly. Yeah, natural insulation. Your body heals itself. You can reverse and heal the toxic effects of chemical exposure as well as heavy metal poisoning and the infections and illnesses resulting from prolonged exposure to any or all these harmful elements. You know, I've got a lady friend just been having heart attack after heart attack and in the hospital right now and she's on medication for uh, diabetes, for Alzheimer's, for this, for that, and for her heart condition. And she's in the hospital more than she's out. And she's on all the medication. I'm on no medication, and I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sick at all. Yeah, you have to change your way of being, uh, you know, and looking at things, so you don't to, 